Hi everyone, welcome to Book Chat. My name is Leslie and I run the Reading Safari and Stream Program through Monterey County Free Libraries. Today we're going to be talking about a book um, called Weather. This is by Jenny Offal. Um, this is a novel. It is on the short side. Um, let me see how many pages. Right around the 200 mark, I believe. Yep, 195. Nope, 201. It's got 201 pages. Um, this book is an absolute gem. It is not a conventional novel, so if you like conventional, this might not be the book for you. However, I do think that it is a great capture of uh, this moment in time, particularly as it relates to uh, climate change and general feelings after the 2016 election. So, um, what this book is, when I say that it's not a um, typical novel, it is, what I mean is, is it's basically a woman's interior monologue. Um, and the woman in question is named Lizzie. She is a um, academic librarian, so she works on a college campus. And she's not actually a degreed librarian. Um, so she, it's a series of her observations um, and, you know, thoughts and things like that. And it's very, very... Um, it's very funny, but also it has this kind of undertone of, um, anxiety and dread, which I think a lot of people have been feeling, um, in the past several years. Um, one of the things that I really, really love about Jenny Offel's writing is the fact that, um, she writes in, she tells the story in these little vignettes. So there's these everything it's not in this big chunk of text it's all these little bitty kind of paragraphs sometimes just a sentence sometimes just a word and you have to do a lot of work or some work in putting together um what she's saying so the for for example i'm going to read you um the first the first paragraph okay so this is how the book opens in the morning the one who is mostly enlightened comes in. There are stages, and she is in the second to last, she thinks. This stage can be described only by a Japanese word. Bucket of black, black paint, it means. So for me, when I first read that, I was like, okay, what? You know, I was like, the woman who comes in where? You know, it's just normal um, kind of plot devices or sort of ignored in this book and in other books by her. Um, I like that she's, you know, the one who is mostly enlightened comes in, you know, comes into where? Well, it turns out that it comes in, she comes into the library, but you only figure that out by reading further into the book and not that much further, but that's what I'm saying is that a lot of stuff um, happens by, in your own brain and the reader's brain by having to kind of put it together. So Lizzie is not only a librarian, but she's also married. Um, she has a son named Eli. Her brother Henry is a former drug addict. And even though he has beat his addiction, it's still, you know, uh, usually one day at a time for him. And Lizzie feels a great sense of responsibility for him. So he is a very big presence in this novel. Um, another big presence in this novel is Lizzie's professor friend, Sylvia. Sylvia has a um, podcast on climate change and um, Lizzie is in charge of answering the emails that come in about, you know, climate change and general feelings of the uh, up upcoming apocalypse, you know, like I said, throughout the novel, these feelings of dread and anxiety. Um, you know, they are all around Lizzie and inside of her as well. So um, I think that the the title, Weather, um, is significant because it is um, it is related to uh, climate change. You know, how do we weather uh, these huge shifts in our world? Um, 
presidencies that maybe we don't want. Um, climate change, these things that are that are happening that are scary and make us feel not safe. This is a book about that, but it's not dark, you know, it's funny and, um, you know, kind of, kind of darkly funny, you know, or subtly honey, uh, funny. Um, one of the quotes that I would like to leave you with, uh, is about time. And, um, I just, I love it so much. So it says, and then it is another day and another and another, but I will not go on about this because no doubt you too have experienced time. So, um, it's very, to me, very funny and also, you know, poignant as well. So I hope that if you are interested in this novel, um, it'll take you about, you know, maybe an afternoon to read. Um, it is available on Overdrive as an ebook. You can find it there. Um, and I hope that if you do read it, that you'll enjoy it. And then maybe you'll uh, post about it and tag, tag us on your social media so that we can see what you thought of it. Thanks for tuning into Book Chat and I will see you all later. Bye.